ese cuerpo a cuerpo lista para rebolear. Ay, ¿qué será? Y ahí está, pidiendo calor, mojada en su sí, Para no demora, se está acercando la hora, va a empezar la presión. Y ahí está, en alta tensión, cuerpo a cuerpo en tracción. Sí, no de cora, simplemente es la puta, sigue la seducción. No hace falta que modele. Hello Replayers, this is Mr. Ultimate, and welcome to my very first video log. Wanted to touch base with you guys and share a few milestones that we've reached, uh, talk about some of the recent developments on the site and recent content we put out, and talk a little bit about the future. Um, this is going to be just the first in the series of video logs I'm going to do. I'm thinking about doing uh, maybe one every week, maybe one every two weeks, depending on how much is going on, and of course if events warrant, probably be more than one a week um, if we have a lot going on I uh, want to try to keep these short uh, short and sweet don't really want to take up too much of you guys time just touch base with you guys reach out to all of our loyal replayers who really are the people that we are producing this content for first couple of milestones my personal Twitter account last month around mid-November reached a hundred followers now uh, let me tell you my Twitter account is well over two years old I really didn't get Twitter at first um, didn't really understand how how it worked, what what it could do, um, but I'm I'm slowly, you know, this, you know, getting into this thick skull, guys, um, slowly getting the hang of it. And let me tell you, when I saw triple digits on my followers, I, I you know, I just noticed it, and uh, wow, that was amazing. It might not seem like a large number to a lot of people. To me, that's an astounding number. It's a very humbling number to think that there are so many people who want to be supportive of me, want to look at what I'm doing, want to share what I'm doing. Um, it, I cannot tell you how much I appreciate it, guys. Um, uh, you don't know what that means to me, and I don't have the words to express it to you, uh, but it really means a lot to me. Also, the ExtendedReplay.com Twitter account reached 100 followers the following week, and uh, gotta say I'm a little bit jelly on that one, because the ExtendedReplay.com account uh, started about the first week of October, and uh, last week of November already hit 100, and then following week, less than seven days later, hits 200 followers. Already passed me up. I mean, what, what's up with that, guys? Come on now. Uh, y you can follow us both. You know, it's not going to hurt anything. Trust me. Trust me. Do it. If it hurts, you know, um, uh, I'll say oops. That's, that's what I'll do. I'll say oops. Um, really don't know what else I could do for you, but I really doubt it's going to hurt, guys. Uh, right now, the uh, site Twitter is going, uh, standing at 227 followers. Again, astounding number. I, I really don't know what to say about that because it's just astounding. And, um, gotta say, I really, um, I'm grateful that I have gotten into Twitter because I've met so many amazing people. Uh, not only have, you know, uh, been able to just talk with a few people who have been enjoying the content that we've been producing, but I've also met some amazing people, some amazing YouTubers, uh, developers, artists, musicians, um, get to talk with them, let them share their passion with me, let me share my passion with them, you know, making connections, that's what it's all about, guys, you know, no man is an island, um, just, you know, reach out to people, let them reach back to you, you know, that that's what it's all about, and that's what gaming really does and that's why we do this guys because we believe gaming brings thing people together so um looking forward on that same note uh, building a community we are going to work on getting our site forum operative uh, we have a forum in place but it has a bit of a technical glitch uh, won't get into details on that but it's um looks like we may need to go with a different solution rather than uh, keep going around and around and around with this glitch that seems to be one really stubborn and not want to get solved. Uh, we also want to produce a lot more written content for you guys. We've kind of shied away from that because we're trying to get the channel off onto its feet. Um, we really feel that it's important to um, have our video content, the majority of our video content, be content we've produced so uh, we are going to be getting back to um, bringing you guys the latest game trailers latest press releases uh, doing commentary doing video um, uh, game reviews doing video reviews video commentaries all those kind of things but uh, we are going to produce a lot more written content uh, in the in the near future guys so don't worry about that 
also you may have seen our latest um well not our latest but one of our latest videos the no more room in hell co-op gotta say personally and not tooting my own horn because it is not just me but i personally believe that this is the best video we've produced so far it's a blast to make and again it wasn't because of me it was because you know uh with me was starklaw friskies and dkl you know three great guys i love gaming with these guys and we had a blast and it really came through on the video really had a lot of fun moments including the my very favorite part the blooper at the end um after you got to wait till after the um in thank you note on the ending bumper guys and you see see that blooper and um what would have been a frustrating moment was a fun moment because those guys were there with me so thank you guys you guys made that a great fun awesome video to make can't wait to make more with you guys and looking forward to also doing some contagion co-ops because contagion is a very similar game it's also a source mod um also indie produced uh very similar but different it's uh, you know on, they're only similar on the surface when you get really into them um they are quite a bit different and it's worth looking at both of them also looking at doing some co-ops with uh, other youtubers um uh maybe some collaborations and things you know it's been brought up the main thing i gotta say i'm probably what's holding this up because i'm a bit of an night owl um uh, most youtubers i know they have this weird thing you know i don't know if you guys know um this is just brought to my attention if you go outside between around 6 a.m and 7 p.m and you look up there's this thing called the sun and apparently some people like it so um that's a little bit weird um i'm not gonna judge i i, I don't judge you know so you know whatever floats your boat but you know um i don't know if i can get into this sun thing but you know I'll, i will try to be awake during those hours uh, so I can get some uh, collaborations in. Um, also, of course, more indie games, guys. There's always going to be a place for indie games on this site. Uh, we're an indie crew. We love indie developers. Uh, I, I, this vlog would go on and on and on if I tried to name all of the indie games that we're going to be producing content for. You know, um, Starclaw alone has well over. I think he's up to almost two dozen that he's got coming down the pike so um be looking forward to that also um another milestone we hit Nia Lumbra you might have seen this let's play series this is the very first game that was sent specifically to us by a developer uh they reached out to DKO and asked us if we'd like to do some coverage very grateful to Beauty Fun Games for doing that they're a great indie developer from Barcelona um looks to be a very interesting story driven puzzle platformer that follows the journey of discovery for a creature named born um you, you can uh, take a look at that let's play series and get a little bit more of that uh it kind of resembles a uh, limbo but the similarities are only skin deep uh there's a few stylistical things that kind of cross but really it's a much different platformer so don't assume that this is like a limbo clone cuz it's not um also going to be doing a uh, releasing a first look review of it got to do the editing on that and I'll get that to you guys and when I've gotten all the way through the game I'm going to do a full fledged by the numbers full criteria review uh, DKO is doing a written review as well uh, we're going to be able to compare and contrast our uh, opinions on that and um, when we do reviews you'll probably see a lot of that on uh, games that we really find interesting you're going to see second takes and people doing uh, another look at games that have already been reviewed because you know everybody's got an opinion everybody's opinion is valid everybody's opinion is is meaningful so we want to have more than one opinion on the site uh just because i do a review of a game uh for instance it's not doesn't mean that's the final word on it uh discussion you know looking more in depth uh, comparing and contrasting having a little bit of a debate you know friendly debate that's what it's all about sharing ideas guys so uh look for some uh contrasting reviews when we do do these reviews because we want to give more in-depth coverage to you guys and not just a cur cursory uh 
look on the surface. Also, the Let's Play series is going to be coming out uh, maybe like an episode a week because it is very story-driven. Don't want to spoil it for you guys. So I am going to be spacing that out. So don't worry. Not going to spoil the story for you there. Uh, that's going to wrap it up for me, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Also, be sure to go over to the ExtendedReplay.com channel. Subscribe there if you'd like to see more from me and the XRP crew. You can also like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and visit us at the main site, Extended-Replay.com. Hope to see you there soon, guys. And until next time, I remain Mr. Ultimate. Come on, baby. Solas su cuerpo pide ser de un momento.